Memastikan integriti dalam rangkaian halal bukanlah suatu perkara yang mudah. Namun begitu, cabaran yang ada malahan memberi banyak manfaat kepada semua. Kesucian setiap bahan mentah menjadi pilihan seluruh masyarakat. Di manapun anda berada, Halal Integrated Platform sentiasa bersama anda. Membakar dan nak habis ni. Ain. Ya bu. Boleh tolong ibu order bahan-bahan bahulu tak? Tapi Ain dah nak pergi interview dah ni. Ah, tak apa. Ain bukakan portal HIP untuk ibu. Nanti ibu boleh pilih je dalam ni. Nanti ibu jangan lupa tengok laptop ya. Hmm, yelah. Ibu selalu doakan kamu berjaya. Terima kasih ibu. Segala akses untuk hak halal hanya di hujung jari anda. Memastikan kelestarian rangkaian hak halal untuk generasi akan datang. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Terima kasih. Eh, cepat je sampai. Segalanya pantas tanpa batasan. Sebesar impian, segalanya bermula dengan langkah yang pertama. Terukai integrasi tanpa sempadan dan berpeluang temui rakannya kebaru. Budayakan inovasi dan jadikan idea perniagaan anda satu realiti. Lakar kejayaan, catat peningkatan perniagaan melalui HIP. Daftar dan sertai segera untuk berinteraksi dan mendapat akses kepada ribuan pangkalan data. Hanya yang terbaik dari Halal Integrated Platform. Hello, good afternoon and salam sejahtera to everyone who is tuning in. Once again, thank you for joining us in this series of Summit Talk by Halal Integrated Platform in conjunction with the Selangor International Business Summit, Summit happening from 18th to 21st November 2021 at the KL Convention Center. Um, HDC and Halal Integrated Platform has a booth at Hall 1, booth number 1081 and 1076. In this afternoon's uh, Summit Talk, we have uh, Inche Azari Kamal from Selangor Kerjaya, who will be talking about um, hiring the right people for your business with talent exchange. So good afternoon, uh, Azari. Good afternoon, Quincy. Thank you for having me today. Yeah. I mean, just hang on for a while there. So for those of you who are new to Halal Integrated Platform, um, go to hip.hdcglobal.com to register as a member. And this platform is a halal industry platform uh, created by HDC with the aim to bring together halal industry players from SMEs, corporations, service providers, professionals, and consumers in one integrated digital platform. So the aim of this platform is to promote growth in the industry. And one of the key things that uh, they are looking at is halal talents and also helping SMEs look, look for higher halal talents. So Correct. that's why we have our guest speaker today, uh, Azari Kamal, who will hopefully uh, shed some light on how you can hire the right people with Talent Exchange, with, which is in collaboration with uh, HIP. All right. So, um, good afternoon, Azari. How are yes, you? Yes, good afternoon. I'm very, very good. Thank you for having me. I see you're working from home today. Yes, that is the uh, current new norm at the moment. So, uh, we are supposed to be back to the office. Uh, sometimes, occasionally, I'll be still working from home. Oh, okay, okay. That's good. I mean, uh, as you can see, I'm also at home. I mean, yeah. it's very convenient. Yes. Um, <laughs> Well, so straight to our uh, topic of today, hiring the right people for your business with Talent Exchange. But first, uh, briefly tell us about Talent Exchange and 
um, its role in promoting halal talents in the industry? Okay, basically, Talent Exchange will be the only job matching platform to gather the supply and the demands for halal professional pools. It is actually the only platform in Malaysia, perhaps in the world, to cater such demands actually. So, it's a single platform where candidates can register to apply for jobs, do profiling, understand their key competencies, and the successful candidates will have the opportunity to use the platform to improve themselves using the learning tools that we have in our platform. So for the employers, it will be a platform to search for the right candidate. So the, the new method will be not just using the normal method to do interviews, but we will actually provide some data for, for the employees to review as well so that the, candidate, the, the interviewer will have uh, the options and to understand the candidates during, during doing the normal interviews together with data to refer. Yep, that's how so, it is. Also, I mean, it's uh, really also help with the data you can actually do a lot right. of yes that's right yeah i mean uh, okay speaking about talents in the halal industry um okay, in the right now we are in the midst of a pandemic or endemic mm. uh, part so uh, what is your views uh, on the current halal talent market and how important is it for the industry especially now yeah, uh, as part of the halal certification uh, certification requirement, every organization that has halal certification requires at least one halal professional to be part of the organizations. At the moment, there are about eight thousand companies at this, uh, that actually certified halal, and more companies are currently applying for halal certifications. Hence, the demands of the halal professional will be growing in tandem with the growth of global halal market, which is expected to be around five trillion in 2025 as compared to USD 3 trillion last year. So uh, I would say that the platform um, the platform is just not to be to be just to be done in local. It's a, we, we're exporting to outside Malaysia as well. Yeah, so I, yeah, I think this morning I had a um, conversation with uh, Norul from Awantech also talking about halal talents and their value to the international market. Yes. Some of the uh, countries with uh, halal demand, they are not traditionally Muslim countries. Correct, correct, so They may correct. not have access to all these talents. Yes, you are right on that one. So I think this is where um, talent, talent exchange or and Selangor Kerjaya comes in to help um, elevate these halal talents in the market, or halal professionals in the market. So maybe you correct. can want to walk through with the audience about um, talent exchange and Selangor Kerjaya. Okay, let me try to share my screen. Okay, go ahead. You'll be able to see the screen? Yes, perfect. Okay, let me try to present this. <clears throat> well, um, I am representing Selangor Kejaya and Anawantek. So, uh, I'll be explaining regarding the collaborations between uh, Selangor, MBI, Anawantek and also HTC, whereby uh, Halal, Inter uh, Halal Integrated Platform will be using talent exchange and how it's actually uh, related into Selangor Kejaya program that we are currently running. So, in terms of our partnership, we have a uh, partnership with SHL, Kelly Services, Google, Skillsoft, Cyberview, HDC, Fast Job, Edico, and also Talent Corp. Um, and then, uh, the topic for today will be hire the right people for your business with Talent Exchange. So, benefit for joining the HIP Talent Exchange in collaboration with MBI. Uh, anyway, Quincy, if you, have, if you have any questions, please, 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 uh, Ask me a question so I'd be able to explain to you. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Go ahead. Okay. In terms of the benefits for joining HIP Talent Exchange in collaboration with MBI Selangor, so there will be two sections that we'll be helping. One, uh, we will be helping employees and the other one will be helping the employers. In terms of uh, employees, in terms of the candidates, how are we going to... Uh, help the employees. Basically, every single candidate that actually register into HIP and uh, they will be redirected into Talent Exchange and it will be registering to Selangor Kejaya. Okay. With the Selangor Kejaya, every single candidate will actually will have to go through a profiling test. So based on this profiling test, then we'll be able to prepare a comprehensive uh, a development plan for all the candidates so that the candidate will be able to go and get the right jobs. This is the one that I mentioned to you earlier regarding uh, the, at the start of the questionnaires whereby uh, I explained that 
this uh, program basically will have some data for the employees to review as well. So based on the profiling report, we will have some information about the candidates, the data, some some information, the data of the candidate. So we will know whether the candidates actually fit into the role uh, basically for the position that they actually applied. So, I mean, just uh, just to clarify a bit, um, what kind of uh, profiling questions they will, they, they, okay, we are in collaboration with our partners. It's called ACHL. So ACHL is actually doing a psychometric test. Okay. So based on the psychometric test, they will be checking the competencies of the candidate at work. So whether okay. the candidate is actually competent to be a few roles, I will explain to you further regarding the okay. profiling after this. Okay. And then using the profiling report itself, uh, Selangor Kerjaya will actually will do the skill matching. We will do the skill matching to understand whether this candidate is actually match with the role that they are applying. And number three, we will also do the career coaching. For the career coaching, there will be two sections that how uh, we are going to help the, the candidates. So basically, career coaching number one will be how uh, to prepare themselves before they actually start work. And actually, once they, so we will prepare them before they start work, before they go for the interview. So once they actually get a job, we will also give them another coaching for uh, in the event, for example, like we call it as onboarding onboarding trainings. So this during this onboarding training, there will be someone who will have to be a mentor to them, taking care of how actually they they are performing at work, and we are going to give them a pro, we are going to provide them trainings as well. So all this process is actually uh, they they will enjoy all these benefits. And mm-hmm. we are also going to give, I strongly believe you spoke to my colleague earlier on the rule. So yeah. this and that will be about CPO and Skillsoft. So yes, when they register into HIP Talent Exchange and with the collaboration with MBI Selango, for new, use, uh, through Selango Kerjaya, every single candidate that actually being successfully hired, they will also enjoy 12 months self-guided online training program. Okay. So okay. it's actually included. Yeah, and that will be for the employees. For in terms of the employers, basically, the employers for the employers, it will be very, very much interesting. Whereby, um, in the market at the moment, um, if let's okay, we we uh for for this whole program, we actually cover into three sections. Number one, usually <coughs> in the market, there will be a job portal. Job portal usually outside. There will be charges incurred when they wanted to do advertisement for job positions. So mm. in order for in order for them to go and find a candidate, they do they they will have to do job advertisement, and from there there will be charges. So that is we call a job portal. Job portal basically, uh, in terms of Selangor Kerjaya, we are doing that. So Thailand Exchange uh, is able to provide a job portal whereby we will advertise uh, the vacancies available where the candidate can actually apply through Thailand Exchange. Mm-hmm. And then number two, there you can see we, there is also a candidate screening and relevancy. So uh, for Selangor Kerjaya program, we are unlike... Um, uh, we are unlike other companies. Basically, we are also providing recruitment services. So, based on the profiling report, based on the uh, job advertisement, we will actually screen through the candidates. We screen through sure. the candidates. We will only filter the candidates. Once the candidate is actually qualified for the positions, then we will actually send the candidates for the interview with the employers. Oh, so you have a team to actually uh, correct like a will... personalized service to the employers. Correct. So it is covered. It, we, it can be considered as a job portal plus recruitment services. Because if let's say in the market, you if you want to have this kind of services, there will be another services that you have to provide and so, yeah, yeah. And, uh, to, to pay, which is the recruitment services. That is the reason why recruitment services exist. So we, uh, Selam Gajaya, we are not just doing job portal. We are also doing recruitment services. We are assisting them for that one as well. Yeah. Um. Before you go further, I mean, just now previously yeah. for employee uh, employees, you mentioned yeah. there will be mentoring and all that. Um, Correct. Where does where do the mentors come from? Okay, we have uh we have in Islam Kajaya team members. We do have uh, a group of mentors whereby they will actually manage uh, all those candidates being hired, and from there they will monitor the candidates whether the candidate is doing well at their work. If there is any issue, the candidate will also be able to communicate with the mentors and us. So oh, we okay. have our our internal career coaching team. 
Ah, oh, okay. How long do these mentors uh, stay on with the candidate? The services will be we, we will be able to provide these services to every successful candidate for 12 months. 12 months, okay, okay. Yes, yeah, they will enjoy. They, yeah, they will enjoy for 12 months. Uh, okay okay all right okay the third one uh, for the employers and of course there will be a profiling consultancy as well so all the candidates that are being high i mean uh, all the candidates actually gone through selangor kerjaya they will have to do profilings and with this profiling report we will we will actually also provide uh, the employers in terms of information of uh, for the, about the candidates we will also provide the employers a resume we will also provide the employers uh, regarding the candidates information about their profiles reports so what kind of candidates that they are getting so what kind of candidate that they actually going to do interview so we will provide the consultancy when it comes to profiling report as well so if you are referring here, this is not just recruitment services, it's not just job portal, we are also providing all the profiling consultancy as well. So there's a thought, it's a full package of recruitment process. And on top of that, we, we, we are going to uh, arrange the interviews and we can also help them in terms of the onboarding assistance. So these three functions will be included if let's say the candidate is being hired of course because we don't believe in the we are, i mean we are we are we believe in uh, career development we believe in talent development so what are we going to do next after the candidate is actually being hired is that we are going to provide them a training program so they, they, they will actually every single candidate that go through Selangor Kerjaya that being successfully hired through Selangor Kerjaya, they will go to, they will have a cap, uh, capability and skill building trainings, which consists of uh, five work days. And uh, after that, they will have 12 months self-guided online training, that one. So if let's say they completed all those training, there will be a training and certification as well. Oh, okay. So that one is a benefit also to the, I mean, it's a benefit for the employers because um, Sangok Kajaya is uh, taking care of the um, staff development and yeah, the, yes. staff, the development of the staff. Yeah, Correct. Okay. So it won't, we won't be, you know, we, we we the main reason with this is we wanted to develop the we want to develop the talent itself. So it doesn't it doesn't stop like after they get a job and then that's about it. We are going to help them to grow in the market as well. So that is the whole program of Selangor Kajaya. It's all about whereby if you. Uh, from HIPs, they register into HIPs. One of the things that we, because of the collaborations with HIP and also MBI, so they will be enjoying all these uh, benefits as well. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. And I mean, these services, I, I think, yeah, I may be mistaken, but yeah, I mean, if you look at other job portals, um, this part of uh, capability building is a separate package, correct? It doesn't, it doesn't yes. come with, uh, Yes, it goes to it goes to a job portal. It goes to uh, recruitment services. It goes to a profiling companies, and it also goes into a uh, training company. So it's totally four different services we are providing at one go. So all this is actually free for employers and for the employees as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I would say it is a very awesome collaborations. Yeah. So I mean, if anyone's a company looking for halal talents or professionals, you can just go. Uh, become a HIP member, go through the talent, talent exchange uh, link over there. Yes, that's right. Correct. You are right on that one. Okay. I'll go to next. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Uh, this is one of the uh, profiling reports that will be given to the employers every single time uh, the candidate being proposed to the employers. Okay, this is actually the one that the, the, the first profiling report that you are seeing is a summary of uh, the competencies potential, whereby it's actually a uh, Malaysian standard classification of occupation, we call it a MESCO, list provided by Ministry of Human Resource Malaysia. So if you can see on the left, the fit score there will be um, what they it will be measured is actually the competencies of the candidate itself so whether this candidate have the strength or maybe have the ability or have the competencies to become one of the rules there will be a total of nine competence uh, fit score there will be managers professional technician clerical service and sales workers skill agriculture craft plants and elementary workers so uh, with this report that now okay if let's say the candidate scores one or two that doesn't mean the candidate is actually not good the, the, if they say they score one or two that is something that they actually need to be developed in order for them to be successful into the job but if let's say they score three or four or five that most probably will be their main competencies at work so mm. 
there is a case study that we did for this profiling report. So there's one candidate is being hired through Selangor, I mean, being interviewed through Selangor Kejaya. She have a diploma in ship engineering. So after she finished her studies, she don't really, you know, know what is the next directions for her. But then again, she would like to apply for a job. So when she uh, registered with us, she uh, completed the profiling assessment. So one of the key strengths that this candidate have is to work in service and sales workers as well. So we propose her to go for uh, tele-sales roles whereby backing back with the data back with uh, the data back the information of the candidate so we send the candidate for the interviews the candidate actually get a job and now currently becoming one of the top performers in the organizations so in the her background her education background is uh, ship diploma in ship engineering. If you know the yeah. diploma in ship engineering, the position will be very niche. She would not gonna be yeah. as easy as uh, not gonna be as easy for a lady to go and go into that role and you know find yeah. a job. So basically, after she finished job, she just work in uh, she just work in a in a part time doing part time if if not if, if I'm not wrong in uh, uh, retail industries. And then after that, uh, she's looking for another job. Completed the profiling where we help them. We help the candidates to go and get a better job. Yeah, so Selangor Kerja looked at her profile and um, from there, from the data, you found out that, oh, actually she can do tele sales. That's right. That's right. So based on that one, we send a candidate for interview. And in fact, during the interview, itself, she can really speak well. She can really communicate well. She can really sell as well. So when it goes to the, when it goes for the interview, she get a job. And, you know, at the moment, I, from what I heard, she has been performing really well. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, it's very interesting because uh, right now a lot of people are actually looking for jobs. I mean, after the pandemic and all that. So Correct. I think this would be a very good opportunity for them to um, go into uh, Sangu Kejaya Talent Exchange and get their profile up there. Correct. Every, in fact, I would invite every single one that uh, would be interested to 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 understand themselves further to actually go to uh, HIP and then go to Talent Exchange and go to Slago Kajai website. So register yourself. After you register yourself, you fill up all the information. There will be a link given to you via email to complete the profilings. So every single one that registered into Selangor Kerjaya, they will have this profiling report at their, at, their, at their dashboards. They will be able to see how they actually score. So once they be able to see how they score, then they will know what kind of position they actually, they may, their main interest, what kind of characteristic, what kind of uh, competencies that they have to become at which level or what level. So they can try it out. So if let's say they need some assistance in terms of the explanations, yeah, they can actually contact my team hmm, okay, for, this, for this information. Yep. Okay. There will be uh, the first report early on that you see every single candidate will uh, will 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 have all those report. But once they actually completed the profiling, um, and actually it will be uh, they will, every single candidate once they are hired, there will be another three more reports that will be out. Mm. Okay, they will be calling. Uh, the, the first report is called OPQ32 profile. The second one will be Universal uh, Competency Report. And the third one will be Development Action Plan. So the first one is OPQ32 profile. This one is based on 32 dimension. Uh, mm. Uh, 32 mentioned being segregated into three competen main competencies whereby there will be a relationship with people, how the candidate's thinking style, and also how is the feeling and emotions. So if you can see here on the left, uh, the numbering is from one to 10, but that doesn't mean number one is actually bad, number 10 is actually good because every single role will have different, different skill set needed. Every single role will have different, different competencies that actually require to become successful at their role. For example, like if you are in sales, so you need to be a very persuasive. So you also will need to, to be, uh, you also need to be very outspoken so that you'll be able to speak to people and express this whole situation. So those kind of dimension, they will actually measure to check whether you are actually fit into the rules. And that so, would be... So this is the profile that you did for the previous case study. Correct. Season. You're right. Yes. And then uh, this will be, this, this, the second one will be Universal Competency Report. <clears throat> this Universal Competency Report is actually a report whereby uh, we can also present this to the head of the departments so that the head of the departments will know what kind of candidate that they have in hand and what will be the development needed for the candidates to actually to be able to be successful at their role. 
is that right if you can yep, see yep. here uh, you yep. can see here there will be green uh the green yellow and red those who are green practically most probably the candidate strength but those who are currently in yellow is probably something that this will need be to be developed but those who are currently in red that one that one is the one that we need to pay attention so okay. we have to be very careful dealing with this kind of candidate what kind of what kind of capacities that she have or the he have so that we will know how to to handle this situation and prepare their development action plan so this the third one will be a development action plan to will be given to all the candidates in fact so yeah. once they actually hired through Selangor Kejaya, we will actually be able to share this development action plan to all the candidates. So you will be able to see there is a possible of development activi uh, development activities for further discussion. So basically, the candidate will be able to know in order for them to get better in 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 certain certain positions so there will be a potential area need to be developed so they will be giving you a suggestion what kind of training will be needed for you so that you'll be able to do well in the role yourself mm, okay i yeah. mean like going back to the previous one um the the, the color code yellow and red once yes. you identify that will you guys be working with the employer or the manager yes to try to address all this Correct. We uh, for Selangor Kejaya team members, we we will have uh, we will have the uh, training solutionists that we will be communicating with the employers. That we've been notifying based on the, the development action plan itself. We will curate a training program so that the candidate will be able to get better in their role. So based on these all reports, uh, Selangor Kejaya team will. Uh, provide the we propose the training program so that the employers will know this is the training program that will be needed for each candidates Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah. so it's a very comprehensive uh program whereby the employer if let's say uh, the employer will enjoy the benefits because in the end of the day once they actually hire the candidate they are not just going to get the candidates that uh, I mean, they are not just going to hire candidates, but they will also will be getting a candidate that will be fully developed in a year time. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Twelve months. Yes. You talk about the twelve month training and post employment Correct. capability building as well. Yeah. Correct. You are right. Okay. And then uh, these uh, personality tests for hiring and development action plans. So we are we like like I mentioned, every single candidate will enjoy all these things. So we are going to identify the strength and the development needs for all the candidates and we are in terms of the recruitment wise we are going to shift thousands of candidates because usually if you are into recruitment you will understand that the people register they apply through job they can simply apply the positions in which they don't even read the job description they don't even know whether the job description is actually uh, suitable to them so yeah. that is what happened in the current market so based on using the prof the profiling test we'll be able to straight away shift all those thousands of candidates and we will know what kind of position that will be actually suitable for the candidate themselves. So we use this data to back our 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 uh, profilings, to back our selections, and we will send the candidates for the interview with the, uh, for the interview with the employers. Yeah, because usually when as a job seeker, we just look at the job title and then oh okay, yes, <laughs> yeah. In fact, in fact, I in fact I do interviews quite a lot. You know, people apply for a job. Basically, what happened next is just like. Um, they you know they know they saw the, the positions they look at the title they try to take and apply but in fact their qualification doesn't meet the rule at all the, the rule at all so mm. I, I, so those kind of situation makes me you know wonder whether these people read the whole the whole job description whether they read the whole job requirements so yeah but this using the using the profile report so we will know exactly whether it's actually fit into the role or not yeah, I mean, like, I mean, I think it's understandable as a job seeker. Sometimes you are, you are just throwing trying your luck, resume. Trying their luck, yeah. trying their luck. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, in terms of the training of offerings, based on the Selangor Kejaya, there will be two sections. If you can see on the left, uh, there will be soft skill training, IT and I and IT. Uh, IR 4.0 trainings and all this training we are going to provide a virtual training for all the candidates that are being hired so basically we are going to offer we are going to propose a training program to the employer if let's say the employer agree and then we will actually send the candidate that being hired through Selangor Kejaya to go for all those training this training can be up to five work days mm -hmm. and then we also don't believe the candidate will be able to understand will be master a few i mean the, the, about about the job we did five work days hence we are going to provide them a skill uh skills of cpu online 
online learning. Mm. So they will be able to continue learning about PCPO for the. They will have the license for PCPO for the next 12 months. So yeah, this yeah. is where uh, my colleague Norul, I believe she she explained to you earlier on. Yeah. Whereby yeah, they will be. That was where we also had a conversation about. Um, it's not only about what you know, the technical skills or the hard skills that you know, it's also about your soft skills. So you need to cover yes, both. Yes, correct. And then uh, once they actually go through all this platform, they will, if let's say they learn, they will be able to earn the, the, the digital badge whereby upon the completion, they actually can flash that digital badge into into their uh, into their social networks and they will be able to let the, the world know that they actually learn through all those uh, studies. Okay. And then... Um, Selangor for okay for Selangor Kejaya, we are not just like I mentioned earlier on. We are not just basically providing jobs. We are also a part of Selangor Kejaya Digital Learning Hub. So we do understand the behavioral skills of the candidates. After we do understand the behavioral skill of the candidates, we we prepare the development action plan for all the candidates. After we prepare the development action plan for the candidates, we, pre we, we will have a critical skills mapping. This is the one that my team will actually prepare. And we will also give them a develop, we, we will develop a learning journey with a CPO skills. Of. So all the candidates will have all the information, all the benefits if let's say they, they register into HIP Talent Exchange and they will enjoy Selangor Kujaya benefits. Okay, and then the last one, uh, the Selangor, Digi Selangor Kejaya Digital Learning Hub basically it will be under PCPO as well. So it's actually founded since 1998, uh, currently in 160 countries, total of 5, 45 million learners and this is basically like a Netflix of of uh, education whereby the candidates will be able to, to choose and learn through the, the learning platform. So each employers or maybe each candidates that are being hired through Selangor Kejaya, they will enjoy all those benefits. So employers, in terms of employers, they will know the stuff that they are getting. They will be able to enjoy, they will be able to be developed themselves so they will be able to do well in their role. So this is available for both the candidates and also the... For the um, candidates. For the for candidates. The candidates okay. Mm, okay. For the candidates. So that will be the end of my presentation. So uh, you can visit our website at hhiphtcglobal.com and we also, you can uh, check us out at selangorkejaya.com.my You can call or maybe WhatsApp at the hotline 012-717-5774 and then you can also email us at selangorkejaya at biselangor.com.my or essmarketing at selangorkejaya.com.my You can also find us at selangorkejaya Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and also LinkedIn. You can go through with us. Okay, there you have it. Um, yeah. Those of you interested, please go to uh, register as a HIP <laughs> member first. Yes, the most register, as thing, register, yeah, as register as HIP members. members first. It's pretty much very simple. Uh, it's very much very simple process. Uh, if uh, I strongly believe later on, uh, Quincy will be able to share out the videos so that you be able to see how actually the registration process will be very, very much easier. So once uh, you register yourself, you want to go to to uh, to to enjoy the Selangor Kejaya benefits, just click on the, the career there, then we'll be able to to go to Selangor Kejaya already. Yeah, I mean, like, just to re recap back, probably the key points, because uh, we were talking about how you want to hire the right people for the business Correct. using mm. Talent Exchange. So I think mm. what's uh, important here is that Selangor Kejaya and Talent Exchange, you are helping um, employers um, look for the right talent by Correct. profiling using data. Correct, using data, not just not just normal interviews. We not we just we don't just use uh, gut feeling because that is how usually recruiters will do the interview. We go through all this profile, we go through the resume, we are, we check on in terms of the competencies, we check in terms of the skill set whether they are match. But of course, during the interview, sometimes the candidate can be very well. They can answer pretty much very well, but the data doesn't look that way. But that doesn't mean that candidate is also not good. But so that is the reason why we have to do. Uh, now we have the technology to use as a profiling, so we can actually match whether the profiling and also the 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 uh, competencies in terms of resumes is actually match. So mm. we can use our uh, you know gut feeling during the interview to understand the candidates and our that if the data backs up, I think we are going to go and perfect candidate. So uh, we are not trying to say it will be hundred percent match. No, but basically 
what are we are trying to do is to minimize the we minimize the gap we minimize the error so that you have you know uh, improve candidates yeah you increase because, the chance of getting it right yes because if you get it wrong it can be very costly to the employees yeah, yeah. it can be <laughs> very costly Definitely. And also what's interesting is also um, you spoke about the capability development um, even after uh, getting hired. So it Correct. continues after the hiring process. Yes, you're right. So basically, uh, as we can say, our learning, our learning attitude should not end after, mm. I mean, you know, after we finish our studies, basically we still have to continue learning on a daily basis. So this we are going to provide a platform for all the candidates to be able to continue learning for free so you know they'll be able to enjoy the benefits for free so if they say they really go into the platform go and get a job once they go and get a job they will be able to enjoy all those benefits in a year time they will be able to do not to say they will be able to do well in the job but basically they can they, they can you know can have a better salary next time you know, who, who knows yeah 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 it's not about today but it's also about uh, preparing future. for the future yeah that's right so i think that this is where i probably want to play the video the onboarding yep. video yes so i think it's a very short one i think yeah In your browser, search hip.hdcglobal.com. Once you are in HIP website, click the register button. Enter your email address and create a password. Then, click the checkbox to agree with the terms of service and privacy policy. Finally, Click the Get Started button. There you go, it's as easy as 1, 2, 3. Congratulations, you are now a registered member of HIP. I mean, it's a very impressive video. It seemed like I was watching a Transformers, a Transformers trailer. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Transformers. I know, I know. <laughs> I heard that yeah. a lot, actually. <laughs> oh, but I mean, I think from that video, I think uh, uh, I, I get an idea that um, in this program, it's almost like um, yeah, so you're taking over. You're you're playing the role of like a outsourced uh, outsourced uh, HR for the yes. the company. Especially, I mean, this would be beneficial for 
smaller companies who don't have a big team to do recruitment. So they yep, can actually yep. go register and get you guys to do all the uh, legwork. Actually, in fact, leave the HR to us. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so basically that's it. Yeah, leave the HR to, to, yeah. to you guys. Yes. So we'll be able to help. So if let's say we uh, not, uh, the, the platform itself is actually very useful for employers. It's also uh, very useful for the candidates. So um, the talent itself. So we come, when it comes to the talent market, uh, sorry, uh, for the uh, halal talent market, basically I have to highlight it will be a hub whereby uh where is those uh, halal candidates will be registering themselves and there will be an also a platform whereby all the employees in halal industry will register themselves so you know there will be chances for them to connect it will be very much faster will be much much easier and with all the benefits that you will be getting i would say this is a very perfect platform yeah yeah, good. So um, i'm waiting for uh, whether there's any questions from the audience yes I don't know. I don't know. While waiting for that, maybe, um, maybe do you have any um, things you want to summarize or say, uh, share with us just uh, before we go to the Q&A or before we end the, the session? Okay. Um, that's a good one. <laughs> okay. Basically, basically, uh, I would invite, um, I would invite. Yeah, promote. Uh, promote yeah, yourself. Yeah, but I would invite, <laughs> I would invite everyone to basically uh, try out to register into Selangor Kajaya platform, all right? Um, if you do not, uh, if you are even, even if you are not looking for a job, it doesn't matter actually, but you know, what you can do is you register yourself. Once you register yourself, there is a chance, there, there will be a platform for you to actually try out our profiling uh, profiling test. So when yeah. you, you try out profiling test, you'll be able to see the results. So yeah. once you'll be able to see the result, you will know what's next for you. You know what to do next. Yeah. So that, will be a benefits for you straight away without you know without you even applying for a job but who knows but who knows if let's say in future you are looking for a job you can actually go to the platform you can actually apply and then if it suits if it fits why not and when it comes to the employers oh come on our our services are pretty much free (laughs) so a candidate can just uh create a profile and they don't really need to be looking for a job. They can just create a profile and just park the profile right. there, right? Yep. They yeah. can actually, uh, they can actually register themselves. And once they register themselves, of course, they will have to key in certain information, which is a key information whereby we, we in order for us to help them out. And they will be able to enjoy the, the, the to do the profiling. So usually the profiling test will be given to them. Uh, the link will be given to them within, a, within the latest will be within a day. So they will be able to receive the link, they will be able to do it, and you know, they will experience the profiling itself, so they will know. So we from there, they will be able to, uh, after a few, uh, after a day of doing the test, they will be able to uh, see the result already. Okay. Mm. If okay. let's say they wanted to find out a new job, or maybe try to look through, browse through, why not? There's no harm, right? If there is a new order, then there this new positions, which is quite suitable, which is, you know, very interesting for them, why not? The opportunity will be there. I mean, even if they don't, just a question, even if they don't apply for anything, would you guys be like scanning your profile and maybe you might even contact them to us? Even if yes, don't... there will, if there is, uh, if there is uh, positions which is suits them, we yeah. will, we will. Oh, okay. So they don't That's really need to apply, they can just park the profile there. If, and... if, they, if they want to be quick, yes, they have to go and apply. <laughs> but if they want to be, if they want to, you know, try things out, uh, then there shouldn't be any issue. But it will be slowly, a little bit co- slow compared to the one that actually clicking and apply for the jobs. <laughs> yeah. some, some people just like to, tengok lah kalau ada, ada lah. Yes. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter actually because in the end of the day, if there is a development for them, there is a chances for them to be able to get a better job in future. Why not? And then on top of that, when they get a job, they can enjoy all the benefits. So there's no harm. There's no. There's no. There's no, there's always a win. You are referring here, and when it comes to the employers, you are getting the right talent. You are getting the right services. You are getting the right training programs all in the collaborations between uh, HIP, Talent Exchange, and also uh, MBI. So I, I would say that it's a very good marriage. So if yeah. you if you should enjoy all these benefits while it lasts. Yeah. Mm. 
So I believe when you um, when you register as HIP member, hip.hdcglobal.com, you log in, you update your business profile, uh, you, you update your profile, then you will have uh, access to a link uh, Correct. To, to the portal. So that is where you click on that link. Um, they will match you to basically identify you as a HIP member and you can create mm. a profile there. Correct. And then they will go to do for for the candidates. Once they click into the profile, they will be able to link in into. They will have to key in certain informations. It will direct to Selangor Kejaya platform. So once yeah. they direct to Selangor Kejaya platform, they will be able to register themselves. Yeah. Similarly, that uh, as a SME or business owner, if you're looking for it's uh, similar processes. Talent, Correct. You, recruit, you have uh, it's the same thing. You log in to hip.hdcglobal.com. You go to the link, and then you just register to that link. Yes. I think um, we don't have any questions from the audience and we have gone for 45 minutes now. So I think if there's nothing from the audience or our viewers, I uh, think we can um, end our session. Um, so guys, please go hip.hdcglobal.com. Please yep. uh, look for the Selangor Kejai Opportunity, the Telling Exchange Opportunity. Um, register there. Um, yep. So I want to thank uh, Azari for um, joining us this afternoon. It was very thank you insightful. so much, Gracie. Thank Hopefully you. Hopefully, everyone has uh, learned a lot of things. I mean, this is a great good opportunity for those looking for jobs and those uh, companies who are looking to hire. So, thank you again, Azari. You're welcome, Gracie. Thank you for having me. Oh, another one more thing. Don't forget to yeah. actually go to our social networks, HIP social network, and also Selangor Kejai social network. Please yeah, go and uh, you know follow follow us, like us, all those sorts. <laughs> Uh, you can you know get the updates and Selangor Kejaya is also at the Selangor International Business Summit right yes that's right that's right uh, so you have a booth there I think your booth is next to the HIP booth the it's, HIP it's, it's, booth. it will be MBI it will be MBI booth oh MBI booth okay the MBI booth yes. is just next to the HDC booth mm -hmm. okay so uh, visit hip.hdcglobal.com and register as a member today to enjoy the benefits and services including um, those services um, with Selangor Kejaya and Talent Exchange. Um, mm -hmm. So we have another virtual session coming up uh, over the weekend. We have four more talks coming up on Saturday. And you'll Sunday. be busy. Yeah, you'll be busy. busy. <laughs> uh, 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. as usual every day. So if you are interested, please register at eventbrite.com um, or you can just view us on Facebook, LinkedIn and also YouTube. And this is also, if I'm not mistaken, this is streaming live at the uh, convention center itself. Oh, so yeah. like as I mentioned, please follow the HIP on social media. We have Twitter at HIPX Global, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, and YouTube is Halal Integrated Platform. And on Instagram, it's at HIP.Global. Yeah. So thank you once again to Azari for joining us today. And thank you for everyone who is uh, watching live. So until tomorrow, stay safe and see you guys again. Bye. Bye.